Good afternoon, my name is Reverend Lance, and right now I want to talk about a scripture in uh, Job 15.35. It says, they conceive trouble and give birth to evil. The womb, their womb produced the seed. This verse speaks to me in the sense that it tells us we got to learn how to make an honest living. You make an honest living by going to work, paying your taxes, and being a productive citizen. You be an honest worker by helping the poor and not indulging into your desires. What makes me upset is that we have so many churches and mega churches making all this money, but they're not giving back to the people. They're not helping the people. You have real ministers and you have minister wannabes. People like Joe Osteen, Joyce Meyer, they're minister wannabes. Tim T.D. Jakes, they're minister wannabes. They don't use their money to help the people. I, the, the Bible says, will you rob God by not paying your tithes and helping other people? Malachi 3.8. It saddens me that we have so many rich people in this world with a closed fist. They don't want to help people in need. People like Oprah Winfrey and uh, Donald Trump and uh, all these other people with money. Bill Gates. They don't want to help people. And it disappoints me. You can't, when you die, when you leave this world, you can't take your money with you. But it's sad that these rich people think they could take all their riches with them into the grave. Now, somebody going to dig up your money and somebody going uh, to steal your riches. I am thankful that I have God in my life. I am thankful that I experienced my youth. I'm not perfect. In fact, no one is perfect but God alone. But I do know this much, that God wants us to help one another, love one another. And even if you can't help anybody financially, just acknowledge people. The reason Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed was because the people of these two cities didn't care for the poor, they didn't care for the needy, and they didn't care for the homeless. Tend to your people. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. What that means is that if we depend on God, and we help one another and live a godly life, we shall not have any wants, for the Lord shall provide all our needs. God is doing trillions and trillions of things. He's bringing our attention to him through this coronavirus pandemic. I am thankful that with the stimulus check that Trump got us uh, while he was in office, helped me pay for school. And I was able to get my paralegal diploma. And I thank God for that every day. God is doing so many things, and I believe God is working his magic for me. I don't know what exactly God has in store for me, but I believe he's working his magic. I'm doing youth ministries. Children, don't talk about your brother or sister. Don't bully other children into fear. Lift each other up, help one another. I know it's easy to get angry and you want your revenge and you wanna, you, you wanna, you know, read the word of God. The word of God is powerful. You'll learn a lot, thank you.